the GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Or did 0.9% APR plus over 1,200 trade assistance and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra 5.3 liter V8 light duty models. Look at those spicy birds right there. Woohoo! Y'all are 100% all white meat, huh? Man, that bird is getting so stuck. Just 549? Okay, I like that. Hollywood grinds to a halt with actors joining the picket lines tomorrow. The bitter labor fight sending shockwaves through the local economy. Also, a showdown in Sacramento over tougher penalties for sex traffickers. Why lawmakers can't agree on how to tackle the problem. Are we moving in a direction, do you think, that fire will be more predictable and more containable and more manageable? High-tech firefighting will go inside the Southern California Nerve Center that's using data to help firefighters react faster. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Juan Fernandez. Claiming it is a fight for survival, 160,000 union actors and performers will go on strike tomorrow against the major studios and streamers. They will join 11,000 union writers who've been on strike for months. Yes, this is the most... Over a bullhorn in front of Netflix, hundreds of SAG-AFTRA and WGA members learn the news the Actors' Union is going on strike. With horns honking and signs waving, two major Hollywood unions will strike at the same time for the first time in 63 years. The strike will begin at midnight tonight. We had no choice. We are the victims here. 160,000 performers will now join 11,000 writers on the picket lines. In London, the cast and crew of Barbie walked the red carpet just minutes before the announcement, all supporting the strike. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm very much in support of all the unions, and I'm a part of SAG, so I would absolutely stand by that. Sorry. I would support the actors. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm a member of the DGA, the WGA, and SAG, so I'm I'm all in on everything. I uh, love the unions; they've always protected all of the artists I know, and, and I, I really want them to um, stand strong and win their fight. The premiere of Oppenheimer was also held in London. The director and actors pledging support for a strike. There's an existential threat to, you know, the industry that needs to be addressed. It's being addressed. It's a painful process, but it has to be done. For sure, we definitely want to want to talk about it while we still can. And if we if we go on strike, we'll pack up and go home. Minutes after these interviews, the vote was announced, and the cast and crew did all leave. All SAG-AFTRA members are now banned from any promotional work on their projects. Fan favorite events like next week's Comic Con will be without its superheroes. The main sticking points include safeguards for the use of AI along with pay and residuals for streaming shows. Netflix alone has more than 230 million subscribers. SAG AFTRA claims actors are missing out on millions. We ought to protect the people who are kind of on the margin. Character actors such as Madi Barakchian, who appears on network TV shows but can't pay his bills. The corporations that are using our faces, our likeness, our content, all the writing, all the storytelling, are reaping tremendous profits. Yeah, actors are not wealthy. <laughs> um, besides like the top like, 0.0001% of actors. Today, Disney CEO Bob Iger weighed in. There's a level of expectation that they have that is just not 